and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day five of Follow a Sketch February 2024. A hop started by Sandy, which is State Goddess here on YouTube and Scrapping Reflections on Facebook, where you can find all of the sketches. This sketch is from everythingaboutscrapbooking.com and it's a two-page layout and I have pictures that work for this sketch in the exact same position and everything. I am super excited. Um, I am going to be using Vicki Booten's print shop. I have tons of embellishments, papers, all the things, and I really, really want to start using my stuff. And so I also have this die cut that I have not used yet. So I'm going to try that out today for the circular bits um, here on the right and the top corner of the left to, um, so I'm going to try and use the um, die cut for that. And so I've got the mixed media paper pad, the regular paper pad, six by eight paper pad. So you've got lots of stuff, plus lots of embellishments that I haven't even pulled out yet for this collection. So I got my papers, my embellishments, my die cut, my pictures, and the sketch. So let's see how this goes. So I've put the sketch up at the top. It will be there as long as it um, can for a while and then it'll be in the way. So I think I'd get rid of it. Um, so I cut this circle. It is about 11 inches and I cut it with just a little circle cutter that a friend of mine sent me and I use this blue paper that is in the paper pad. Um, both those papers obviously in the background are from the mixed media um, paper pad. I was going to do extra added mixed media, but really the pictures and that circle take up a lot of the empty white space. And I didn't really feel like there was a whole lot of need for it. So I don't bring any other mixed media in. I know it's kind of strange, but it's fine. Um, so I laid the pictures out to see if I like the way that they're going to flow and see if I need to trim any of them down. I do trim a couple of them down a little bit. Um, like I said, I put these pictures that are in the exact same order and position, um, vertical, horizontal, whatever. And I, th it worked out perfectly when I was trying to, I had picked pictures for this sketch, I don't know, a week or so ago when I was originally planning. And then this past Saturday, I hung out with my friend's kids for a few hours while she was out of town. And the pictures that I took just happened to perfectly fit what I needed. And we had such a good time. I'm so excited to have gotten um, all the fun pictures of me and her kiddos. And then my other bestie, who was actually watching the kiddos for the few days she was out of town. I was just watching the kiddos for my for her while she had something she had to do so but uh we had I really wasn't babysitting I was really just hanging out with some fun kids because they are a lot of fun um so but uh obviously because they're literally climbing the daggone walls uh we did watch spider-man henceforth why the one is doing like the spider-man pose <laughs> so uh it was a whole lot of fun and I absolutely love her kiddos and we just got into so much trouble and I'm not telling her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just let her kids stay up past their bedtime because that's what like the cool aunt does and that's you know that's kind of the vibe right. So anyway after I got everything done I the one die set I used is uh, that little um, star bit and it made all three of those in one cut. So I put one in the pinky red colors over on the right side and then I use the inside part that cuts all the stars out over on the left top corner. And then I flipped the other side or the other one to the other side which is like that grayish black color. I just thought that it would add a little bit of something different and not have that exact same color right there. And then some of the bits and pieces and the stars that came out of that, I'm going to use as clustering bits in just a little bit. But first I went through the ephemera bits and found a journaling space because I definitely needed that. It is on the sketch to have that journal over to the right side of the right layout. Mine is not as big as what they have on there, but it was big enough for me to make, you know, the notes that I wanted to. I do have a third layout Yes, I spent like three hours at my friend's house and I have three layouts and that's fine. Um, 
I probably could have taken more pictures, but I didn't take pictures until like the last, I don't know, hour that I was there. <laughs> I do have pictures of them dancing around and acting foolish, but they're kind of blurry and it was dark, so they didn't really turn out great. Um, so anyway, um, I am just adding some embellishments. I decided to use the florals because I've got that peachy color that I've used a lot of here. Um, brought in some of that yellow that's in that background paper as well. Um, and then I'm going to add some wordy bits pretty much. I pulled any wordy bits that I, um, that I found that fit and I put those on here. So there's a couple that say like awesome photo or it's the weekend baby. Uh, one of them says happy looks good on you. Something to be thankful for. Cool, calm, and collected. I put that one on the picture at the very bottom of the right layout because that is me tucking the youngest one in and she begged me to lay with her and then she proceeded to chitty chatty chitty chatty even though I kept saying you gotta be quiet if you're sleeping you can't be talking while you sleep and she thought that she should fake sleep <laughs> so she kept fake snoring goofy girl anyway um so and then i also put on here a collection of memories the title on the sketch is up in that top left corner of the left layout where the circle is and because mine's not like a full circle i put a title up there like i tried a couple of things and i didn't really like it uh, it didn't fit very well so i decided that i would either use that a collection of memories which is down in the bottom left corner of the left layout or that lucky day or the this life that it's over on the right um i'm okay with any of those being the title honestly because all of that is super fitting um and then i use stars as my extra clustery bits because that's what i've brought in with my um the die that i used as well as like i said i added some of the little stars that got cut out um, either the red side or the like that grayish black side depending on where I was putting the star and then other than that everything in on this entire layout is from the print shop collection except the little peace sign I did a layout yesterday for um, scrap of craft afternoon and that was a piece that I had out from where I have little itty bitty leftovers from the legendary and um, no limits collection from Coco Vanilla and I had a I love you in sign language and the peace sign and I used the I love you but I thought the peace sign would be perfect because I knew that the youngest little uh, goofball was um, doing a peace sign in one of the pictures and then she and I both were doing them in the other picture so I went ahead and pulled that um, and put it on this layout and then I'm gonna journal and just write about how we watched spider-man and had a good old time goofing off and then I did not get them in bed on time um, I did leave a blank space where I was gonna put um, my friend's last name and say the so-and-so's kids I didn't want to write that on here uh, while I was sharing this on, out with the world so <laughs> I'll write it on here when I'm done with my layout share at the end of the month so anyway that is it i love the way this turned out i love these kids they are such goofballs that's why i love them so much uh we had such a good time so i hope you'll go check out everybody who is hopping along with follow sketch february they will be listed below in the description box as well as if i know anything about the sketch or anything else um so if you have any questions please give just let me know um love it if you comment below uh, thumbs up if you like this um, video and I hope you'll come back and see me again really soon I'll be here every day this month I hope so I hope you all have a great day hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping